Hi there, Gina with another scrapbooking video. This is layout number two from my Making Page Kits with Scraps little series. And here is that page kit. And I am, I have a lot of supplies here, so I'm not gonna use it all. But you know how it goes, it's rather, it's better to have too much than not enough in my opinion, pulled. That way I don't have to go dig. And I am at home doing all these layouts. So if I do need something, I could always, you know, go to my stash and grab it. But it's nice to have any everything all in one place. So I am matting that five by seven photo. And it's when my daughter turned seven and she had a One Direction party. Those are just um, a few family members and super duper close friends who know I am doing this video. So, so I have that blue paper that I'm gonna use to make some edges, like little borders on the sides of the layout. And just so you know, at the end, I didn't like it, how it was just, I don't know, I thought it needed something else, so I did go ahead and cut it down a little bit and mat it on some white cardstock, because it kind of stood out a little more when I did that. So just so you know, I didn't take any pictures, but that's what I did. So I meant to do those strips opposite, but I put them the same, <laughs> but oh well. So I have that piece of trans, not transparency, I guess that's kind of what it feels like. Um, but as I look at my layout, I don't end up using it anywhere. So I have that pretty heart paper. I just cut a section out of it and then that pretty yellow piece with the triangles I cut it down a little bit I didn't want it to go all the way to the end of the paper the 12 by 12 paper and I had pulled that just because it was cute and I was thinking maybe thinking of you because you know this was a very long time ago but yeah, I, I decide against that. So I have it mounted on that blue paper and then on the pink. So a lot of times when your paper is way too busy, you could always just use it as a mat and it doesn't, you just see a peak of the color and pattern and it's not so overwhelming. So that's what I did with this blue. I matted my photo on it. And then I added the pink to kind of frame it and it could stand out a little bit more. And just kind of, not kind of, I am gluing down the pieces as I, as I go. So I'm not going to take too much time and Try to figure out where I want things. So I like that pretty um, shiny paper. It's kind of too bright for the camera, huh? So I'm just, I cut that in half because I only had a small piece and I put one on each side of the photo. And on that bottom I have that piece of, it's um, like a cut apart, I think. For journaling and journaling box cut apart then I had that frame I just cut in half and that came with another piece inside but I kept the out, outside part as well so I could use that and 
and I'm going to use that giant ampersand. Then that's a tag, not a tag, a label. Um, it's a big pack that I got at the Dollar Tree. So I put that in the right corner. I got one of those, it's a Maggie Holmes uh, cut apart piece, a label. I'm using that. That little heart. You could see everything I'm doing. Nothing is rocket science on this layout anyway. And then I had a couple or a few of the photo corners that I decided to glue on. And I destroyed one. So on the bottom right, there's not going to be one, but there's enough stuff down there, I think, anyway, to kind of camouflage that it's missing. And then I had that little banner piece that I put on top. I'm just thinking I might uh, plump up that right cluster, but I decide against it. I'm adding that bright pink arrow, just pointing towards the journaling. And I'm using the, it's not called quick dry anymore. I don't know what it's called, but I use that as my wet glue in that fine line bottle. Here's some tickets. Just gluing that to the side. And I mess with it a little because I want that pink to show up some. So trying to see what else I could stick somewhere. So I decide on that label, again from the Maggie Holmes, and put that right below the pink. I mean the pink, the yellow. Then I have some uh, chipboard pieces. I added that circle, I had a heart. And then that piece, it says enjoy it. And that is pretty much gonna be my title for it. And I think I'm just gonna add some, yeah, some Nouveau drops, enamel accents. Or like enamel accents from Ranger. And I think that'll do it for this layout. I'm adding some yellow, the liquid pearls, but I think those are pretty much drying up on me because they never turn out nice anymore. So I might have to just get rid of them. Um, but yeah, there is my layout and I hope you enjoy. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.